and 4. Okay, so that's all. Uh. Uh, what we do now, right, is... Wait, uh, my this one, I think, going to auto shut off again. Okay. Okay, those who are able to see, right, then you work in terms of radiance. Uh, but will you be penalized for working in this uh, way? Uh, not really. Okay, not really because you have done the conversion here correctly and the final answer doesn't require uh, you to have uh, radiance in as your anger. So it's fine. Okay, now, uh, wait, uh, I check whether my this one is shut off. Okay, this next part, right, is very badly done. Uh. Uh, we take a look at it, okay? Angles A and B live both between this and this. Given that sine A and cos B are both negative. Now, uh, A and B, both A and B lie between this. This one, uh, they're just trying to tell you, right, that it lies in uh, the first cycle. Okay? It lies in the first cycle, lah. Uh. So it's good to draw this diagram, uh, A S T C. Now, do you agree that if sine and cosine are both negative, now here sine, cosine both positive, right? Now here sine positive, uh, cosine negative. Now here, ah, uh, sine and cosine both negative. Correct, uh? So this is the quadrant that they are at. Uh, am I correct? That is if both of them are negative, lah, huh? Ah, both of them are negative. But, uh, can I ask you, ah, uh, if I want to find the range, okay, the range. That means, uh, they are trying to tell you, right? Is the possibility, uh, the, the the possible range, uh, of A and B, uh, Don't you agree that if A is negative, okay, if A is negative, then A can lie between this and this. This is 90, this is 180, 90, 180, right? This is 270, this is 360, right? Huh? So don't you agree that A is between 180 to 360? And B, because it's negative, huh? B is negative, so uh, B is what? B is cos, right? So it is here, here, and here only. It cannot be here. Alright, so it's between this and this. We are talking about a possible range. Ah. We are talking about a possible range. Do you understand? Okay, so if you write it in this form, ah, uh, it's easier to see that A plus B is this plus this. A plus B is this plus this. That's how we get this fella. And that's why you disagree that it's in between here. Okay, so that is just some manipulation for you. Now this question, ah, uh, you try to master it, okay? I will set something like that in the coming days. Huh? Because uh, two years ago, if you had done your 2018 paper, right, there's something like that. But of course, not in this form. Lah, huh? It's in another form. Huh? But it can come out in any form, you see? So now, you are told that this triangle has this height. Uh, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 90. Huh? And the angles are such that A plus B is 45. That means this is 45. Okay? Now, find the value of H. Now, for a start, it seems very difficult. But whenever, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you have one angle plus another angle, if you look at your uh, TYS uh, 2018, right? There's one question like that, but don't have picture one. Uh, whenever you have this, right? You must think of the addition uh, formula, uh, all those addition formula, meaning to say, uh, sine A plus B. Okay? Me equals to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Uh, those kind. Uh, then you have cosine AB, then tangent AB. Uh, you must look at those. Okay? And in this particular question, uh, because, because this is opposite, this is adjacent, this is opposite, this is adjacent. Okay? We only know tangent, tangent, or... Uh, we are not interested in a uh, hypotenuse, right? So we use tangent and we use this. This is the uh, addition formula that I was saying, okay? 
Then from here, you can plug this here, plug this here. The rest is elementary. Okay. Of course, you reject this because it's, um, it's a height. Uh, so you don't have negative height. So the rest is very simple. Long once you know that. Uh. Okay. Now, uh, next part. Given that this is this, find the value of f. This f pi over 4 uh, means you just sub. You find the f x, right? Then you sub x as pi over 4 into your equation. Wherever there's x, you replace, 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 replace. Okay, so that's the whole idea. Huh? You want to find fx, where is it? Here, right? You need to rescue uh, fx, right? But now it's trapped inside this integration sign. Okay, and also it's being multiplied by this. Oh, what some of you did uh, is you go and divide by this, divide by this, divide wrong move. Okay, you cannot divide like that one, you know. This one, <laughs> this one is trapped inside the square roots. Uh, no, not square root. This one is trapped inside the integration sign. It's like, it's like this, like that. It's like uh, I'm trapped inside here. Uh. I'm trapped inside here. Then there are some other things here like x squared plus 2. How can you divide by x? Everybody cannot. Uh. I'm trapped inside this operator. I'm trapped. I need to be integrated. Then it can come out. Ah, uh, oh, but of course we are not going to integrate it. Uh. We are going to do something more uh, e easy. Uh, to get rid of this integra uh, integral sign, uh, we have to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Okay, so that's what we are doing and that's what I've done here. Uh, sorry, I haven't written here. Sorry, uh, differentiate here. Uh, differentiate here. Uh, actually, less some space for me to differentiate. Uh, so that's what you need to do. Do you agree? Once you have done this, uh, differentiate, integrate, this whole thing will disappear. Okay? Leaving this part here. Alright, uh? but of course you, you, you don't cancel like me. Like I'm just explaining to you. You just write this. Uh, it's, okay, uh, so that's all. Uh. Okay, uh, you will get this. Ah, uh, Now you are out of the prison, really, out of the integration uh integral sign uh. then this part here differentiate this uh remain as it is differentiate this is minus two done already uh. then uh this one don't touch okay now this one don't touch differentiate this differentiate sign is cosine then you must differentiate this argument put a four here differentiate a uh, number is zero all right now after this uh you notice under normal circumstances i would have taken out the two right two Oh, but I didn't because I just want to get rid of this e2x. Just now you see, I I couldn't get rid of it. Now I can get rid of it, okay? Uh, hey, please don't use pen to cancel. I'm just showing you what I'm left over. Uh, what I have left over. Okay, then now, now you see, you throw the x inside. Throw the x inside. Uh, press calculator, you'll get minus 4. That's all. Okay, so that's all. Huh? The next one is a continuation, you know. It's a saga, you know, very long story. So it's given that fx uh, is such that uh, the second derivative is like that. Okay, do we have the first derivative? Don't have, right? Can we find the first derivative? Huh? Can, right? Uh, so what do we do to find the first derivative? We integrate this. Integrate sign, you have a minus here. Okay, please use the template. I, uh, okay, I'll just do it. Uh. Everybody, you must be in the habit, all right? Under exam condition, it's very different, all right? You use this to guide you, you won't make careless mistake, okay? Uh, don't chong ming yi shi hu tu yi shi, uh, this is what I mean, okay? So this is what we call play safe, uh, play safe. This way, it's like that. You can write this on your formula sheet, then refer, okay? Uh, sub sorry, this one I integrate uh, sine, I get cos right, but throw the minus over, that's why there's a minus here. Then remember, uh, you must differentiate this and throw the 3 here. Okay, then integrate this is differentiate these two x, throw the 2 here. And you must have a plus c, so it's good, uh, good, follow, let's follow, uh, follow the other class. Okay. Follow the other class, put plus C, then you won't forget. Kinematics also put plus C, then you won't forget. Huh? Okay, done. 
fx done already but fx huh, you need to find the c right how they give you a hint here when you sub in x equals zero you sub in x equals zero uh where here 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 uh hey sub in x equals zero this is not zero uh, this half uh, half okay uh, then you can get the c to be this all right put the two third here and then you can get c to be this then this is your fx uh, sorry f prime x Okay, after you have found f prime x, you see, they don't give you this for nothing. You integrate again. Ah, integrate again. Ah. So, integrate cos is sine. No need to change the sine. Ah. So, the minus is still here. Differentiate this, throw it below. Alright, integrate this, you have to differentiate the 2x, throw it below. This 2 becomes 4, multiplied together. This is half x and then you must plus a c, ah, plus a d here. Then you throw in now x equals 0, you will get this. And then you do, 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 then you get this. Uh, that's all. Lah, huh? Now, this part here, right, is just to tell you that uh, those of you who don't know, uh, let's say this is a proving question, right? If you end up here, then how? End up here, how? You use the double, not, not the double, the addition formula, okay? This part here can be sine 3 x sine cos. Sine has the same sign, uh, plus cos sine okay then you will find that this is the answer all right ah uh, okay so uh this is just to tell you it can have this answer also just in case it's a proving question ah class you see this right the kinematics question ah immediately put plus c ah from now on we do this okay then you put a star here okay find the initial acceleration initial acceleration means you need to find the accession first you differentiate this all now uh can i ask all of you are uh, not to do this uh? uh many of you go and do this then you treat it like a big thing uh? okay don't uh, don't uh do it this way break them up minus 3t over 2 minus half eh i made a mistake here uh. it's minus half yeah okay minus half okay then now now then you differentiate okay of course this fella is please ah uh, this fella is a x big x ah uh, to the power n a x to the power n okay ah uh, then you differentiate is very easy don't use what ah uh, then remember ah uh, you must uh, uh differentiate the argu uh, differentiate the argument here then put three here then you get this all right Okay, sub in t equals 0, then you get the answer. Now, this part here, determine whether the velocity is increasing or decreasing. Just now, uh, just now we have something like that also, right? So whenever they say velocity la, or whatever, just now I think it was uh, some concentration, right? Uh, concentration, it's just a repeated concept. Uh. Uh, okay, so they want dv dt, okay? You go and find dv dt equals to what? Don't, don't, Put less than or greater than zero yet why because they ask you to determine you see determine whether uh so you go and find this one first that's what i've done here okay then now you study this t is always greater than zero right uh that means 3t must be greater than zero right or greater equal to zero. it can be equal to zero huh? uh is this one you know why this one can be equal to zero right? because this one zero there's still a one here so you're not dividing by zero so don't forget this equal huh? okay then you plus one Ah, plus 1 is still greater than, uh, that means you plus 1 here, plus 1 here, uh, both sides. This one, right? Uh, is greater or equal to 1, right? Uh, so it's okay, right? Not equal to 0, but can. Uh. Then you slowly do it. That means uh, this fella, this fella, if I take 81 divided by this, uh, how, what, what would I get? Huh? Would I get this? Okay, or, or I, 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 I tell you the other way, uh. Meaning to say, right, if I try to get this, uh, isn't it this one, right, from here onwards, uh, I divide both sides by this, uh, 3t plus 1 uh, cube. I divide both sides by this, divide both sides by this. This will be 1, uh, not 0. Uh. Uh, then I want, uh, what? Uh? Minus 81, right? Huh? Minus 81, then what will I have there? Is it like that? Then this one change. Is it like that? Ah? Okay, you go and think about it. Ah. Actually, ah, 
actually uh, you see here uh, this is always greater or equals to 1 okay so when i multiply uh, sorry when i take uh, when i take uh, minus 81 right divided by something that's always greater okay let's say i take it equals to 1 then it'll be equal right but i i take a number that's uh, greater greater than 1 right greater than 1 let's say 2 don't you agree it'll be smaller than this or do you think it'll be uh it'll be uh greater than this huh uh, so you go and think about it ah huh? you go and think about it okay this part here i will come back to it again ah huh? all right you go and tell me whether this inequality sign is correct or not okay uh, but the conclusion is since this one is uh less than or equals to zero or oh, sorry less than zero it is decreasing oh. uh, no equal here huh? this whole thing is less than or equals to this that means this whole thing must be less than zero lo. correct uh, so it's decreasing can uh? okay so you go and think about this you need some time to think about it then you will digest better now the next part uh, find the average speed right uh of course we must find the s okay and must plus c uh so you go and find your c here uh, when t equals 0 s equals 0 you go and check uh, this will be this okay then uh you know you know right to find the uh, distance uh, you need to find out when t equals 0 la okay then whether you turn or not this is where it u turns uh, where it u turns so you need to find out this timing how to find out this timing you let v equals 0 v you already have from the top uh, then you can cross multiply then get this answer so t this is where it u turns because it stopped to u turn this is at rest instantaneously okay uh, that means at that particular moment only uh, so after you have found this right always must draw the uh, displacement the diagram uh, when t equals 0 what's your s s equals 0 uh, when t equals to 2 third my s uh, my s is 2 and a 1 third that means the the thing travel here uh, to stop stop then you went what uh, t equals 6 is all over this side very far away uh, but then my will just for simplicity will draw here okay so this is your minus 25 uh, 14 over 19 this is your s when it's t equals to 6 so don't you agree the the thing travel this way so it's this and this same distance you times 2 this 2 ah uh, actually can just times 2 ah uh, uh, and then you plus this one okay plus uh, it's not minus uh, plus this one then you divide by 6 then this is your answer in meters per second okay now next ah uh, uh, uh what you call that binomial already binomial wait oh dear it just now were you able to see ah oh dear i hope you all were able to see was it very blur uh if it's blur i will redo ah okay never mind i uh the ninth term ah the ninth term in the expansion is given by this uh where this one is independent of x find the uh, value of n all right now in this particular question right because it's the ninth term you don't know how the ninth term looks like that's why you need the r plus one term okay and the r plus one term is very simple huh? and choose r then whatever comes first you write here whatever comes second you write here okay then this put here in between uh, is n minus r because this power plus this power must be equals to n okay then now because i want the n term uh, r plus one term right i want the ninth term sorry ninth term so r must be eight lo. r equals eight then you sub in oh uh, put all the number together this one you power eight this will become plus then x n minus eight uh, power this one will be 
you bring up right you bring up is minus 8 so it's minus 16 okay for, then for independent of x uh, this must be 0 so n equal 8 uh, n equal 16 okay and show that the uh, ninth term is a positive number now how do you show that it's a positive number uh? Uh, this part you work it out is this one this part is this one this part is this one this one of course is zero right uh, so you show this first you must show them what the term is first uh. Uh, then you say since both the powers for p and n are even this power power uh, both even right uh, then, then, then you tell me eh, but p already positive q already positive but there's no minus here no 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 p p and q they are constant so they can be negative one they can be negative all right they can be negative huh uh, so you are trying to say right when you power it to even power power it to even power this will be greater than zero this will be greater than zero you must state this uh, state this and state this okay so you can conclude there's a positive power a positive number all right so that's how you do it okay last part already uh write down and simplify the first three terms of this one okay very simple lah huh? uh those who want to do it this way you can do it this way too uh then this is minus x over 4 this 0 comes here right then this one is n minus 0 so it's n right okay then plus n choose uh oh, sorry 1 1 uh. and this is 2 uh this is minus x over 4 this one comes here this is n minus 1 right then plus the next one n choose 2 okay uh, 2 n minus 2 then uh, like that okay then you go and uh, n choose 1 means n then 1 below so it's n lah. okay n choose 2 means there are two things on top this is two factorial so it's two times one that's why you get uh where is it uh? you get this one okay uh the two right the two we bring up we bring up all right so this you see here uh, this four here right is two square at the denominator right you bring up becomes minus three this one very easy uh. this one is just from here this you bring this up ah uh, then the minus the x uh, becomes here the minus times minus uh here let's see uh. hey, this is plus right minus times minus is it plus correct ah uh? okay so after this right you you there's a 2 here okay then uh, 16 so it's 32 uh, 32 at the denominator 32 is 2 power 5 you bring up that's why it's minus 7 all right uh, so that's all i will continue another time uh.